What's cracking, guys? This is Bruce Madsen from Metro Scout Fantasy and Football, and I'm here to talk about some more mid to late round running backs in our rookie drafts. And these are the running backs we're just taking swings on to see if we hit. They're going at the spot in ADP where it's pretty much no man's land, starting from the late second, early third, and on back, just taking our shots on them, just seeing if any of these running backs get a chance get an opportunity to hit for us. Not all of them will. Most of them won't, but there may be one or two, and we don't know. We're just taking shots at the pinata and hoping some candy comes out. That's all we're just doing here. And today I'm talking about Tyler Algier, formerly from BYU, and now with the Atlanta Falcons who drafted him in the fifth round. Fifth round is not sexy draft capital, but he is on a team with a very favorable depth chart at running back. They have Cordell Patterson, who's older. It looked good last year, but he's still older. Father Time's going to be looking over him soon. Damian Williams, Quadri Olison. There's a lot of room here for him to make some ground, jump up the ladder here. He rushed for 1,600 yards last year, 23 touchdowns, caught 46 passes on his career, had a 10% target share, which is pretty solid for a college running back. At the combine, he ran a 4640 at 221 pounds. A lot of speculation going into the combine that he was a lot faster than that, but that didn't happen. Although, altogether, though, decent athlete for size adjusted speed, around like 60 to 70 percentile, around that range when you look at it with 221 pounds, 4640. Not too horrible, not too bad. I really like his opportunity. I really like the chance he has here in Atlanta. Doesn't have much competition in front of him. If it's going to happen, it's going to be on a depth chart like this, where if he succeeds or exceeds expectations, it's going to be with no stud running backs in front of him. Cordell Patterson had a good year, but that, that could slip. Damian Williams is Damian Williams. He's a gatekeeper here. If you get past that gatekeeper, you're going to move up the depth chart pretty quick. Kwaji Olison, he should be already ahead of him, at least for right now. He looked good last year with BYU year prior to. Good, powerful, physical runner. He's got some pop in his step. Looks like he runs faster than 4640 when you watch the tape. So he does maximize his athletic tributes. Good vision. Powerful at the point of contact. Will run dudes over. Catches the ball, the backfield a little bit. And that's always good to see a big banger back who can also catch the ball out of the backfield in the screen game on the flat just those short yardage and turn them into a little something more i like him for what he is and where you're getting him is at the back end of the second round he's got an adp of 22 so a late second round pick so where we're seeing him go in draft late second round early third rounds off the board are all the good wide receivers pretty much you have some ancillary jabronis coming after him that a wide receiver that you could draft at this range at running back you just got a lot of speculative assets who are dirt cheap who you're just drafting up just see what they do at this price tag with his open depth chart with the production profile that he has with what we've seen in his skill set at the college level for BYU there's some promise here the odds aren't that great due to the draft capital but if he does get an opportunity he could give us some value for a few weeks half a year maybe half a season three quarters of a season that could be in the cards he could be a guy that he hits and we flip he could give us some possibilities, but all he needs is the opportunity. The opportunity looks pretty good. And we got some mid to late round running backs in this class who landed in depth charts where if something goes this way or that way, they get the opportunity to succeed. We might get something here. Tyler Algier is one of those dudes. He could do something for us. He's a guy that you may want to uh, draft up. This team's transitioning. They may not want to pay up for a running back anytime soon maybe not for the next couple years since they're transitioning from the matt ryan era so that's something you may want to think about but again fifth round running back who could get some opportunity on a depth chart that could open up for him at a price tag where it's no man's land at the start of it so you may want to think about him he's a running back that can catch the ball the backfield a little bit can get you some yards between the tackles he's got a depth chart that looks pretty good for a guy of his caliber he could be taking over how's this offense going to look going forward don't know because it's a big transition with marcus mariota 
at quarterback and this wide receiver group of Drake London, Kyle Pitts, Brian Edwards on tape, the skyscrapers. So it's going to be an interesting team to watch going forward this year, next year, and so forth. But Tyler Algier may get a shot. And if he does, we may be able to reap the rewards on it, get a return on our investment, but we got to see. Let me know in the comments what you think about Tyler Algier. Are you buying up at this price? Pretty cheap, late second round pick, especially in this draft class, or are you going with somebody else? Let me know in the comments. Smash that like button. Help the video out. If you haven't already, subscribe. Helps the channel. Fuels me to keep helping you guys out with your fantasy teams and your rookie drafts, everything else. But again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.